What up, what up, Wimbush here. Today I'm excited to show you guys how we can make volumetric clouds in Unreal Engine like this. Now this comes part of the latest update on 4.26 and I want to show you guys how to get started. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So as I was saying, I have version 4.26 already opened up just to get a quick start on the tutorial. I already have a landscape already built in here, but we don't see it yet. And that's because we have to add some of our lighting effects. And so if I come over here to lights, I'm just going to pick a directional light. And I'm just going to click and drag that in here. And you can already see the landscape that I built out with Road Creator and Brushify, which made this quick and easy. So if I come over here on my right hand side, I'm just going to zero this position out. And then I'm going to make this movable. So it's all real time lighting. And then I could even probably move this around just a tad bit. So there's a couple of things that we're going to add to the scene here to get the volumetric clouds to work. And so first what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come over here on the side. I'm just going to type in sky. And I want to use this one right here called sky atmosphere. So I'm going to click and drag that in. And I'm also going to zero this out right here in my location. Then if I come up to my directional light, I'm going to scroll down until I see atmosphere and clouds. It should be down here. I think it's a little bit further down. Here we go. So atmosphere and clouds. I'm going to click this one all right here where it says atmosphere sunlight. Boom. There we are. So now we can see we have our sun up in the sky and everything and everything is being properly lit. And I don't know if you guys noticed that the exposure goes up and down as we look around. So let's fix that right now. So I'm going to exit this out right here in my place actors. And I'm actually going to come down to visual effects and I'm just going to add a post press volume. Drag that into the middle here as well. Come over here to my details panel. And then I'm just going to come in the search bar right here. Type in UNB and then I'm going to click on infinite extent. That means everything inside the post process volume is going to happen throughout the entire duration of this scene here. And so I'm going to exit this out. And now I'm going to come down here and look for some of my exposure settings. So right here where it says metering mode, I'm actually going to turn this on basic. And then for exposure compensation, make this zero. And you can already see that we're having some type of lighting effect in our world. And then the last thing I want to do is come down here where it says min brightness and min max right here. I want to be zero. Actually, I want to make both of these one like so. So now when we look around, we shouldn't have that effect happening. All right, cool. And then I'm going to go back to my directional light. I'm actually going to turn it down a little bit. They say for like to replicate the sun, you actually want to have this at like 3.16. And you see right by default, it has it at 10, which is extremely blowing out. So I'm going to bring that down to 3.16 and that gives us a little better lighting situation. And we'll start adjusting accordingly once we bring some of the other assets in. From here, I'm going to add in a skylight. So I'm going to come back over to lights. I'm going to bring in a skylight. I'm going to make that movable and zero it out. I don't need to do anything with that for now. Then I'm going to come over to place actors and I'm going to type in cloud and I'm going to pull this one in the volumetric cloud, which is the one that we'd be waiting for. So I'm just going to click and drag this into the scene and boom, you can already see we have some volumetric clouds in here, which looks really, really cool. It gives us some cool options in here. We can actually fly up to the clouds too if we want. So let me bring up my camera speed so we could just fly right towards the sky so it's like we're in an airplane and we're just flying right up towards the clouds and everything it looks really cool you can even see we have the horizon line and everything there but let me come back down into my my terrain here but i thought that was really cool here too how we could fly up into the clouds and everything you can actually go up above the clouds but i'm not going to get too carried away here okay so if i come back over to my directional light and let me actually click on this right here for rotation and if i double click on my rotational light we can see we have like this sundial here and if i start moving this around you can see the clouds being affected by the shadows and everything in there it's just really cool giving us some cool effects in there so something like that looks really cool and i like how it dips in and out of the clouds too i mean that looks really neat itself so i mean that's basically it you know how we bring volumetric clouds in i mean it's just pretty much click and drag at this point if we want to add some atmospheric fog just to kind of blend everything in if i come back over to my place actors and i come down to visual effects right here where we have exponential height fog we could click and drag this into our scene which gives us some really nice fog i'm actually going to zero this out as well and that gives us even more you know like realism to our scene let me fly up here a little bit maybe find like a good area 
we could start really dialing this stuff in but this is already starting to look like the arctic you know the sky might be a little bit bright and blowing out i mean you could easily come over here to fog density maybe turn this down just a tad bit something like that then let me double click on my light again because you can actually see we get like some god rays in here so if i start playing around with these if i get it into like a really good position There, we get some nice rays in there and everything. Some nice blooms. Looks really cool. Let's maybe take it to like sunset. Something like that. I mean, this is looking really cool. So you can see the power of just using the volumetric clouds in our scene. Of course, we don't have everything dialed in yet. But I mean, this is basically the basic setup. If you guys want to get volumetric clouds into your scene, it's as quick and easy as just typing in clouds, bringing it into your scene. You do want to make sure you go to directional light drag all the way down here to the bottom where it says atmosphere and clouds and you definitely need to have this on right here where it says atmosphere sunlight and then you can also turn on cast shadows on clouds cast shadow on atmosphere so if we click these on as well just add a little bit more realism see right here where it says cast cloud shadows you can see the effect that it's already having on our terrain making it look even more realistic in here but you can tell the power that we have in here just by being able to add these clouds in real time you can actually see them bellowing and everything and you can actually go in here if i come into my details panel we have some options down here as well we could play with you know the different cloud heights and everything in here you can play with the distance i'm gonna zero that out so you see there we have a little bit less clouds in here stuff like that and then the last thing that i'm going to do from here is i'm just going to click on sunlight and I'm just going to drag this down till we say recapture. I'm going to recapture the scene. And boom, there you go. We have the correct balancing of the lights and the shadow in our scene. And if I click in my scene, click on the G key, now we have the absolute, you know, in our viewport, we're seeing everything in real time here. We don't have to see any of the grid markers and everything in there. Let me find a good spot where I can actually bring in my character. You know, I like bringing in the Xbox controller. I'm going to come up here, click play. There we go. I have my character. If I hit F11 on my keyboard, brings it up full screen. And there we go. So we're running in our scene real time with volumetric clouds in there. You can see we have the atmospheric fog off into the distance. I mean, this scene looks crazy. You know, we only spent what, like three or five minutes on this scene. So imagine if you actually put some real time and effort into it. I mean, I built this terrain out using Real Creator. I um, textured it just using the Brushify tool set. So not a lot of effort went into it so you can only imagine once you guys get out there and really start diving into it the cool stuff that you guys can accomplish with these tool sets so hopefully this showed you guys something cool how we could get started off inside of unreal engine now use a volumetric clouds to light our environments to give it even more photorealistic effect if you're doing any type of cinematics or interactive experiences this is definitely a plus in the new 4.26 update if you guys have any cool renders or anything that you do online make sure you tag me on twitter and instagram i'd love to see what you guys are coming up with and if this did help you out like on your projects or anything make sure you leave me a comment down below if you're new to the channel make sure you hit the subscribe button give me a big thumbs up and until the next video stay fresh keep creating and i see you in the next video i see you soon take care thank you guys again